Okay, so we're speed changing this tire. I'm in my pajamas, I'm in my flip-flops. The absolute fastest way, pro tip, rural Iowa knowledge only, is the yodel method, okay? So, yeah, I know. Okay, ready? Should we film this? I mean, it's, it's secret. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll film this. We're, hey, it. we are an open book here in rural Iowa, so. yodel Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, this is a... Uh, I, you can message me privately for a little bit more details on how this works, but let's use something else that everybody can do right now. All right, it is cold outside. It is probably 20 to 30 degrees outside, and so this is going to be a speed video, but one of the things that seems to be a reality out in rural Iowa is getting nails in our tires. I mean, come on, I think part of it is maybe we're doing some off-road driving. Part of it is we're driving in areas where just there's been agricultural activity. And so, so we're going to show the fastest way to change a tire. And I am still in my pajamas, I want you to know. And not only are these my pajama pants, but I have confidence that I can do this so fast. I'm wearing flip-flops even too, okay? So this is a, a very quick thing, but this is such an important tool that we have invested in, which is a nail picker upper. So you just go over the top. It's got a massive magnet. Oh gosh. Ugh. And it will pick up nails and all that stuff. So, so this will hopefully mean that we don't do this as much. But when you're going to change a tire and it's like, gosh, my tire's flat, quick, I need to get to town. If you pull out this, man, I just think like it's not going to happen fast. You got to figure out how to get this to this to this up and stuff. So in rural Iowa life, first of all, the first step is to loosen the lug nuts. Huge thing to do is don't ever loosen the lug nuts after you get the car jacked up because you might have to really crank on it and you might accidentally push the car off the jack and that's a dangerous situation. To also be a speed tire changer, you got to have one of these because different lug nut sizes on different vehicles. You might get out there and it's like, ah, oh, this is the wrong one. And you're searching just to have this, which has all the different sizes is so important. So we're just going to, let me see, that's the wrong size. There we go. All right, so see how sometimes you gotta really crank it. All right, so loosening all the lug nuts here. Some have been a little pre loosened Okay, so once we have that all loosened, here is the speed thing. Rural Iowa life. Having a floor jack is like really great, really valuable. So the way this thing works is you can uh, you do the handle to the left and it will loosen this to go up and down. So you, I want it all the way to the right. So I'm gonna get ready to crank it up. And then it's heavy because it's heavy duty. This thing can jack up trucks. I use it to jack up trees once in a while that have fallen down and I want to get up a little bit. So just kind of put it here. And then what you're looking for is to get on a very solid piece of the car. On this side of the car is the gas tank. I would not want to jack on the gas tank. So you got to really study it first. So I did a quick speed study and then look at this. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. Like this is if you're going to live in rural Iowa for any amount of time, you got to get one of these because you, you if you keep it in the back of your truck or something, you stop by the side of the road and someone's using one of these and you're like, hey, man, I got something else. Let's do that other thing. So we got it jacked up. You want to make sure it's up high enough. And then we're going to do this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about the speed method. Oh gosh. Okay. Slowly. Christmas is coming up. Kids, ask your parents for a floor jack. I mean, these are this is like a lifetime purchase. You'll you usually aren't like I'm on my fourth floor jack. You just have one. Okay. Now, oh. That was a little faster than I want it to be, uh, but uh, it is loose. It's going down. Pull this out. Now I'm going to crank on it. Now that it's down, I can get after it a little bit more. 
you definitely, after all this work, you don't want this thing to fall off when you're driving to get the tire fix. So, there we go. Speed tire change, rural Iowa. This is the life.